show that gives you the chance to get your own back on those grown-ups who make your lives really difficult. Well, we've got the chumps, we've got the challengers, we've got the games, and we've got the guns. Let's get on and play round one! <laughs> now it's time to meet the red team. In you go! In you go! Hello, I'll start with you first of all. Hello, what's your name? Georgina. And where are you from, Georgina? Bradford. Bradford! Oh, Bradford, Bradford. Wonderful city of the north. Now, according to this, you like eating. What sort of things do you like to eat? Chips. Oh, we all love chips, don't we? Uh, mm. Chips with everything. And also, you have an ambition to be a nursery school teacher, is that right? Yeah. Oh, children are wonderful things to work with. And speaking of children, your partner in crime is? Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Hi. And where are you from? I'm from Bradford, too. Ah, right. And what do you do for a living? I'm the vicar of uh, Anglican Parish in Bradford. Ah, right. Now, I know it's very busy being the vicar, but sometimes you do get the chance to play your guitar, don't you? What sort of stuff do you like to play on yes, it? Sir. I like to play folk music and I like to play in the church. It's, uh, it's a very useful instrument to be able to just lead people in singing and so on. Right, what is the connection between you two? <coughs> it's my local vicar. And why do you want to get your own back on him? I've christened my sister and I couldn't go skating. <laughs> Oh, well, let me get this right. Because because it was christening your sister, you couldn't go out ice skating and you really wanted to go ice skating, right? How do you feel about that? Well, it was about time little Stephanie was baptised. She'd been coming along to church every week for about five years and we really just had to go ahead. Well, she looks really interested about this one. <laughs> Listen, come with me. I want you to choose a category of questions for your vicar to answer by hitting that as hard as you can and making that bell ring. Go on! <laughs> and that sound means the subject matter is the world. Quickly go to the mangle, Georgina, very quickly. And as for you, sir, we've got you an item here on Get Your Own Back. We want you to wash up these plates because we understand you absolutely hate doing the housework. So, <laughs> what we want you to do, wash up as many plates as you can whilst answering questions on the world. You have a minute in which to do so. Ten points for each correct answer question, plus five bonus points for each plate successfully taken through the mangle and put on the other side. Your minute starts now. What is the capital of New Zealand? Christchurch. No, Wellington. You were close. What's the most expensive street on the Monopoly board? Park Lane. No, Mayfair. In which US state would you find the Golden Gate Bridge? San Francisco. Yeah, I'll have that. Near San Francisco. Go on, go on, go on. California, actually. There you go. Go on, give him loads of encouragement! <laughs> yeah, she was right there. California, near San Francisco. You know. Oh, that's it. Very quickly, come back over here. Here we go. In which country would you find the city of Darwin? Um, Australia. Australia's right. Go! <laughs> Well done, but I'm afraid you can't have it. Stay right there. I'm going to find out how you've done. <laughs> well, you've got 20 points there for two correct answer questions, plus two plates on the table. Ten bonus points. A total of 30 points! <laughs> now it's time to meet the yellow team. <laughs> Hello there. I'll start with you. I'll start with you. What's your name? Oliver Siegel. Hello, Oliver Siegel. Yes. Now, where are you from, Oliver? Finchley in London. Now, you're an avid stamp collector, aren't you? Yeah. How many stamps have you got? I can't count them. Well, well, too got, many. You've got that many? Yeah. Wow, that's great. And you also like football as well. Who's your favourite football team? Chelsea. <laughs> oh, great. You've got one supporter out there. Anyway, turning to your partner in crime, you are? I'm John. Hello there, John. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to the show. What do you do for a living? I'm a solicitor. Uh, oh, that went down well, didn't it? <laughs> That's lovely. When you're, when you're not sort of working hard as a solicitor, you like to play tennis and football, don't I you? I do, yes. Oh, that's lovely. And you also like jazz music, don't you? Yes, that's correct. Oh, yes, lovely stuff. Jazz music is really sophisticated. What is the connection between you two? He's my father. Right, why do you want to get your own back on your dad? He won't let me eat any of his chocolate rolls. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, you mean he, he just sits there and just scoffs them and doesn't give any to you? Yeah. What a meanie. Is this true? It's absolutely true. You meanie! Right, you're in the right place for this sort of thing. You, come with me. I want you to choose a category of questions for your father to answer by eating that as hard as you can and making that bell ring. Go on. Give it a good slog. 
that you've got the cat as well. The subject matter is books. Go over to the mangle very quickly and come across with me. Because what we want you to do is to do some painting and decorating. And we know you love that, don't we? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> oh, great, John. You're in the right place for this one. We want you to apply as much as you can. If you get a question right, you have to take the wallpaper through the mangle and try and hang it up on the wall on the other side. Your minute on this sort of thing, on the subject of books, starts now. Who finds Tweedledum and Tweedledee on the other side of her looking glass? Uh, Alice. Alice is right. Go! Go on, go on, go on. Take the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, dear. And for this particular challenge, right, I take no responsibility in this one. I didn't think of this one. That's it. Have you, have you hung it up, John? Have you hung it up? That was good. Well done. Back you come. There you go. It's another roll. There you go. Which author created Fungus the Bogeyman? No idea. Pass. Raymond Briggs. Which great white whale bit off leg of Captain Ahab? Pass. Moby Dick! Dick. Ben Gunn, Jim Hawkins and Long John Silver are all characters from which novel? Treasure Island. It's right, go! <laughs> points there for two correct answer questions plus two strips of wallpaper hung up on the get your own back wall 10 bonus points a total of 30 points <laughs> let's take a look at the scores after round one well gordon of the reds has got 30 points and john of the yellows has also got 30 points level pegging as we now approach round two <laughs> This is a dressing up game and this is how it will go. Now, we know that you're a reverend, but what we thought we'd make you do is to dress up as a judge. Is that all right? <laughs> Great, because we've got five items in there that will make you look exactly like a judge. It'll be brilliant. It'll be, oh, absolutely fantastic. And as for you, you have got to dress up like a bishop, okay? Five things in there for you as well. Now, to our chump, it's going to be worth five points per item that they manage to find. Plus, to finish the game, they have to get behind the pulpit and pull the sign, which lets down the Get Your Own Back logo. And that's how we finish it. Should the chump finish before the challenger, they get themselves ten extra bonus points. Woo! Are you both ready? Both ready? Yeah. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> that's it. Five things. <laughs> All right, here we go now. Think about it. What makes a bishop? And one person judge. Oh, you found it. That's the right thing. Put it on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Are we, are we there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Now, come on. What does a, what does a judge need? How you doing? How you doing? All right, let's take a look. You've got the one item there, you got the, oh, you've got the papers there, that's two, three there, four items, and the belt, that makes the fifth item, that's great, a total of 35 points! <laughs> it's the turn of the yellow team to have a go, John has to be dressed up as a bishop, whilst Oliver has to be dressed up as a judge. <laughs> and if you want to get this key to freedom, John, he's going to have to do very, very hard to get maximum points. On your marks, get set, go! That's the one, that's the one, that's the one. Right. Oh, you found a red cloak. Nope. <laughs> you found a red cloak. I think there's a red cloak in there. You need that if you want to be a judge. Well done. Right, now, what? that's lovely. Now, see if you can get that on. Interesting. Interesting. Now, I think you need something else on before then. Yeah, I think it's in there. I think you need a cassock. Found a wig, that's lovely. Right, here we go. Yes, that's it. He's getting that over the top. Right, that's it. Put it around the middle. Oh, right. Oh, I bet he's done this before. <laughs> Two, three, 
four, and the belt, the five items, and you managed to undo that. Very good, you've managed to get there before our grown up. Let's find out what you've done here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Well, you've got the one, two, three, four. You've got the five items, but no bonus points for you. Only 25 points. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores after round two and find out who's won this, the key to freedom. Well, John of the Yellows has scored 55 points, but in the lead by a resounding 10 points is Gordon of the Reds with 65 points. <laughs> Today's winner, you take this key to freedom, you also get yourself a clever clog certificate and you don't have to go anywhere near the gun. How do you feel? Greatly relieved. Yes, I'm sure <laughs> you are. Well, listen, thank you very much for trying to get him this far, but... You know, as this week's runner-up, you're going to be taking home with you a stylish get-your-own backpack which contains a very smart and exclusive GYOB sweatshirt, a trendy state-of-the-art pair of trainers, plus a hip and trendy personal stereo system to listen to all your favourite hits. Give them a hand as they leave. Away you go. Thank you both very much. Enjoy that freedom, Reverend. And as for you too, it's now time for the gun dunk. <laughs> Is there anything you wish to say before I pass sentence upon you, John? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, good. Let's get on with it again. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to be nice about this. I'm going to throw you a lifeline. Now, if you can answer five correct questions in under 45 seconds, you lock out the dropping mechanism that throws you into this lot and you'll open the vat of slime above young Oliver's head, making him very messy into the bargain and thus turning the tables. Now, there are very, very obvious answers to my questions that begin with the letter... P. But unfortunately, the answers that you give me cannot begin with that letter. Will he do it? Let's find out. Your 45 seconds starts now. What do you slice and fry to make chips? Vegetables. Too vague. What do women wear to smell nice? Smelly liquid. Yes, I'll have that. What sort of animals had their houses destroyed by the big bad wolf? Um, little fat pink ones. <laughs> oh, I'll have that. Made me laugh. Who flies a plane? Um, driver? No. Right. What does a poet write? Um, words? Yeah, yes. What, what do you buy a friend on their birthday? You also get yourself a get-your-own-backpack. Plus, today's main special prize, we will bring you and your family to London for a weekend break and take you to see the fabulous musical Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat starring Jason Donovan! Yes! Yay! How do you feel about that? Great. Brilliant and well done. Well done to you. And as for you, oh, wow, you look almost good enough to eat, John. Anyway, that's enough from me this week at Get Your Own Back, but do join us again soon. It could be another grown-up in the guns. Bye-bye! Yeah.